right, Sunflower, good job! After traveling so far to the north to search for all those elephants, we're finally home! Just in time, too, because carrying a bunch of elephants around in my pockets is actually quite the heavy thing to do. But, you know, you were carrying me, and I was carrying the elephants in my pockets. So good girl, Sunflower, I am so proud of you. I really need to build you some sort of little garden so that you can nibble all of the sunflower seeds you want and recover your energy after such an adventure. Ah. <sighs> Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri, and after far too long of getting lost for a few months on our way back home, cough cough, uh, we are back in Zootessia! My little feet, my little moss-covered feet are actually on the ground of Zootessia. Oh my goodness, I have missed these grassy blocks. Also, that was a snake. I heard you, snake. Don't worry, Sunflower, I think it's just the snake that's hanging out in the bamboo over there. I really should identify that guy one day and maybe just put a sign over there. I'm sure there's a snake. <gasps> there is a snake that really loves living around uh, around bamboo sunflower. I just remembered. I think it eats tiny little moths and things. Oh gosh. I will have to look up the really cool bamboo snake that lives in China that I swear I saw in a documentary once sometime later. Because right now, my dear, let's go ahead and we're going to wiggle over to the little zookeeper hut. There we go. Sunflower, you chill for just a minute. I'm going to come on in. I'm going to get Lily and Tate out so that they can go ahead and get a little bit of rest too. Because I think that our puppers actually did take a little bit of a... I, I might have to clean them off. They probably have a few kookaburrs in their fur. Hey Tate, was it you or Lily who really managed to get a bit of a headache last time? Alright, you two, you look okay. Yeah, good job, you guys! We did it! We have elephants to release into the pen tomorrow! All of the elephants that we were worried, like, escaped too far. Here, have a little bit of zombie jerky as a snack. There we go. Oh, and then I am gonna collapse in this bed for just a minute. <laughs> I can't believe we're finally back! I can't believe- ah! Okay, that's just a wild boar. Thank you, wild boar, for- No, 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 don't do that! No, no, oh dear. Oh, well. Okay, thank you, Tate. Thank you, Lily. Nothing like resuming with a little bit of drama, and it's good to know that I'm probably going to need to get more glass and to raise the bar on, um, on blocking this area off a little bit more. I can't have my zookeepers, once we start having them come and help, uh, get attacked by wild boars first thing in the morning. It's just kind of a, a bit of a rude way to live, I will admit. But welcome back everyone, and welcome back to our safari zone of our vast and wonderful Zudesia Zoo. If this is your first time with us, why welcome, and most likely this is not. So you guys know the drill by now. It is time to get completely distracted by plants. Though I joke. Hopefully today we will be able to release our elephants. We will start adding in some really cool information about them. I want to come up with really good names, which means you guys are going to need to help me. And we are going to really settle in, and I swear this time, do things in the zoo. I'm feeling it. I have evolved over the last few months. I have grown over the last few months. And I crave being able to finally, finally, finally transform our gorgeous Zoodessia into a proper zoo. A multi-series crossover zoo, I might admit, that may have cow plants and pourings and other things bouncing around as well, but we'll talk about that later. For now, we are going to be working with the very real and very much a member of the world that we all share, African elephants, in just a moment. Let me go ahead and clear out some of the space from my pockets real quick. This poor book and quill, this was supposed to be my elephant expedition. We're just gonna end it. Okay, Elephant Expedition, Day 5. I was playing in the waterways with the ducks and expanded their lake a bit. We should make a wetland there with lots of lovely birds. Ah, uh, and then Day 6 plus. The rest of the days are a blur. All I remember is that at some point, I ended up in the water. Nearly losing. That needs to be... I need to underline, highlight, bold that. I don't know how you bold something in a journal that you're writing, but I imagine it involves a lot of aggressive penmanship. Nearly losing Lily and Tate to a very dangerous island full of dangerous monsters who did dangerous things to me. I, I did, I remember dropping you two in, into the water and almost losing you on this adventure. It was, it was a little too dramatic for my taste, and it did actually have several, uh, 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 
Where did my note go? Uh, all right, day six. Dangerous things were done in the waters and I nearly lost Lily and Tate. And then we should also probably mention uh, afterward, everything was a blur, but we made it back with the the elephants, elephants, safely, and have returned to Zudesia. The end. There we go. And we'll go ahead and sign that elephant adventures. Can I fit that? Elephant search. There we go. Sign and close. There we go! We made a proper journal expedition. It wasn't really proper, but hey, you know, you can only ask so much. Uh, oh good, I even have a little spot to store it. Huzzah! You can only ask so much from a chaotic adventure. And really, in the future, I will do my best to keep those really awesome little adventures recorded. Because come on, we're gonna stumble on that like around episode three, four, five thousand of zoo crafting in the future. And we're gonna be so freaking tickled that we have memories of what we were up to uh but all right really quickly let me empty my pockets just with kind of some of the basics uh we've got some butterflies these are actually butterflies that are live in jars though so maybe i should hold on to them and we'll put them up here and give them little pieces of uh fruit and things to keep them nourished uh oh i do have a bird of paradise i brought back home heck Oh, we'll put it over here for just a second and then I'll try to make a nice little a nice little safari pot for it. Um, moon room. Oh, our moon room queen is getting so tired and actually my steel leaf stuff is getting tired too. We might have to go on an expedition to Twilight Forest sooner than I planned. Uh, a high tide bush. I don't remember how we got this, but hey, we'll put it up there to help feed the little ones. A bone, which I'm sure the puppies would love to play with. Hi guys. I'll hang the bone up here. It's going to be a mark of the adventure. Oh, speaking of adventures, I guess I need to bathe you two to figure out what else we grabbed on this adventure. But I got to get these elephants out of my pocket. They're they're absolutely weighing me down. All right, so elephant. Oh, yeah. I forgot we got a whole bunch of really rare things. <laughs> oh, my gosh. An, an ostrich. Yes, we have an ostrich in here. And more elephants. Oh my word, and a bunch of ostrich eggs. I completely forgot all about that. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. Oh my goodness. All right, well now that we're home, I can put away the weaponry, even the sword of light, my emergency bed. Um, Let's see, Moonworm Queen, I'm gonna tuck you in here, but we do need to take good care of you pretty soon. Um, And then let's see, oh my word. Guys, we got a lot more stuff from this expedition than I remember. We might need to have, <gasps> our own little botany chest or even a botanical garden where we could start storing some of the plants that we got and start talking about the special fauna of Africa. And Africa is a huge continent, so we could talk about pretty much any of the amazing flowers that grow there uh, while we take care of our African elephants. But I think I've finally gotten elephant, elephant, let's see. Put away the arrows, put away the emergency uh, zombie jerky for the pups and my safari nets thank you very much and then let's get ready okay where's the ostrich ostrich you're not part of this big celebration for just a second there we go and we've got the elephants also what there's a maggot okay i mean you're an important part you're really cute gosh darn it here get into my little okay you can where do i put you i don't i don't know why i like this guy is he going to transform into some sort of beautiful butterfly? Like, what kind of cute little maggot are you? This is the best! Lily, I'm back! This is home! We're just stumbling on weird little maggots! The other day, my beloved Chips and I were out on a walk and we actually found a real-life flatworm and I've never seen, like, a real-life little flatworm with their little, very odd, kind of curvy, anchor-shaped heads. I've never seen one before, but it was just zipping along. On the, on the sidewalk, no less. It was it was quite intriguing. Hello, little friend. I wonder what the biggest grub in Africa is. That makes me very much have Lion King flashbacks as a child and, and all of the grubs that were eaten just then. Uh, do not worry, friend. Uh, as vegan, I shall not be eating the grubs. I cannot promise about the dogs, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang out too close to them. Uh, but all right. <laughs> ah, here, let's move Lily's backpack out of the way and Tate's backpack out of the way for just a minute so I have a little more wiggle room. And then Lily Tate. Here, Tate, scooch over. Eh, eh. 
Tate, did you break my doors? Ah, oh, no, no, no. All right, there we go. All right, well, little grub, I'm about to release elephants, so that's bad news for you, friend, but just avoid their very ponderous, very large footsteps if you can. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna release the alleys! We do have quite a nice space to put them in right now too with beautiful acacia trees which turns out although those are the favorite trees of my beloved giraffes those are not the favorite trees of our elephants and we are going to start doing something special for all of the exhibits in Zudesia where we are going to be considering what kind of wonderful welfare we will provide for each of our zoo residents centering around their nutrition what kind of food quality they have what kind of water sources they actually need in real life, their social groups, how much space they've got, if they're stressed, their habitat cleanliness, which I mean is going to be a bit of an issue. If these elephants left behind piles of, of dung, we would have quite a lot to clean up. On the flip side, a pile of dung is an excellent place for a bunch of uh, dis different seeds to be able to hatch or hatch, uh, you know, sprout. I was looking at the ostrich in the background. Don't mind me. But yes, I want to think about setting up all of the habitats for our animals in Zudesia in a whole new way that will really make them much more suitable for the animals, much more fun for us to be able to build, and it will hopefully teach us something amazing about the natural world whilst we are adding in all of the uh, all the creatures and all of the things that we are going to put into their exhibits i'm really really excited so while the acacia trees will definitely help feed our elephants uh, i don't know if elephants often eat acacias in real life because acacia trees have a lot of thorns involved which is why the giraffes get to benefit from their long like slime covered tongues being able to slip between the thorns and just pull them right off with their very rubbery lips uh, drafts are built for taking out acacia trees, but we will be adding in some of the, uh, the favorite trees of the elephant. One is called like a butterfly leaf tree, which I think sounds absolutely enchanting. And the other one is the ever famous, ever beautiful baoba tree. Baob, baob. There's no ba on the end. Baob. <laughs> And we will be adding in some of those soon and I will be talking about how beautiful and iconic they are and why these amazing trees are a very important part of the ecosystem. If you love elephants, then you must love those trees as they rely on one another. All right, but elephants really can eat pretty much anything, including all of this grass. So, time to- oh, it's the bay! Oh my gosh. Time to release the Ellie's and we're gonna need six new names for these Ellie's as well. Hello, my dear. Hello. Oh my gosh, look how big that one is. Oh, hello guys. Oh, this is very exciting. There we go, we have a little herd. All right, hopefully this termite mound. Oh, hey, cool, I got another termite mound from the termite mound. Uh, probably a little like daughter colony off to go establish itself somewhere here. But here we go, guys. Now it is extremely noisy, but that's okay. They're just communicating to each other on a vocal range that we can hear. But we have a herd of six female elephants. We're going to say they are all sisters and daughters of one another because, hi, I don't have an apple or anything for you right now, but you're adorable <laughs> because that is how they hang out in real life. So if you guys have some cool names for these Ellie's, we need to get some, oh dear, some name tags. I am always short on name tags. Do I have, I do not have any magic name tags hiding in my pockets, so I will have to go and get the resources for a name tag. But they're here! They're here! They're finally here! Our Ellie's have arrived! Oh, I'm so excited! And now that they're here, we're going to try to alter the exhibit a little bit to make it nicer for them. And I also want to see if we can get our giraffes up front too. Because our giraffes have kind of started to hide like at the back, which isn't a terrible thing. Hello, vultures! Which isn't a terrible thing, because I think they're just like wandering about. <gasps> and our flamingos! I totally forgot we even hatched some flamingos back here. And there goes one of the little wild boars. Excellent, excellent. Oh, and look at all these guys! Heck! Okay, yeah, and I want to see if we can convince some of our giraffe families to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Okay, this looks suspiciously like a place where Nigel could just go ahead and crawl himself out. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit. There we go. A little bit of pruning over here. All right. Hello, hello, giraffes. Yes, I'm going to remove this bush, which all of you have probably eaten already anyway. Any zoo I've ever been in where there's clearly a spot where the giraffes could possibly reach a tree, they more or less have completely eaten that tree, which I think is kind of hilarious. All right, we'll put a termite mound down here. They tend to add a little bit of light to everything. And Pegu, you shouldn't be in here. So I need to grab that pig for the interspecies trading network that we're going to be working with. And we'll see if we can get a wild, a uh, little safer wild boar added in here instead. So Pigu, lucky for you, I have a bunch of empty safari nets. There we go. All right, and meanwhile, let's move a few of our giraffes up front. I, in fact, let's go ahead and I wonder if I have an apple I can entice them with. I have a golden apple. It'd be kind of cute if I could just have the giraffes come follow me. But alas, I do not have, I do not have an apple to just make giraffes follow me. So instead, We'll go ahead and we will move them the manual way. Hello, little Julian. Good to see you. Kizzy, nice to see you. Indigo, good, good, good. And Savannah. Okay, you four are going to be the ones who come up with me to the front. Oh, and now I'm really hungry. <laughs> and I think we might need to set up, like, some paths. We might need to manipulate the environment a little bit with a whole bunch of trees and maybe, oh, some like rock areas. <gasps> and maybe we could make some cool like overlook spots for the guests where they could stand on an overlook and start making places that sort of break up all of the animals just wandering to this back corner. Oh, hi, Mimpibo, how are you doing? But that would be nice to break up all of them just wandering into this back corner instead. So that would be pretty fun. Uh, all right. So I need some food. I need some nibbles. Let's see. Gosh, here's some chicken noodle soup, some vegan chicken noodle soup. Um, and then I have, ooh, some frozen peafowl espresso. I don't remember taking that on my trip. Nice. Lights up the night. You can see in the dark with this espresso. It gives you a little bit of zoomies. Hello, flamingos. Very nice to see you. All right, let's jump this way. <gasps> An apple! I could have guided my little giraffes over here. How delightful. I probably should set up an apple tree or two somewhere so that my giraffes will be quite happy and just want to stay nearby anytime I, anytime I need to, like, convince them to stay up front and center. Hello, Savannah. So good to see you. So that the guest can see them. There you go, little Julian. It's wonderful to see you. There we go, Kizzy. And then let's go ahead and put down Indigo, hi guys. Okay, all of you, hopefully please stay in this area. Uh, please no escape. I might have to do, uh, yeah, I definitely probably need to do a little bit more. <laughs> this is good, this is good. We're learning spots where I need to come in and I very clearly need to do just a bit more work making sure that none of the animals can just magically walk out of here. There. And besides, it might be nice to kind of prune down this bush a little bit so that people can see our wonderful, wonderful members of the zoo. And don't be alarmed by the flashing. I'm just losing my night vision. There we go. And there we go. Very nice. And then I'm gonna put some oak leaves in that hole. Hmm, that doesn't match. That's fine. That's fine. I can I can do a little bit more. There we go. And we can just do some oak leaves over here as a nice little uh, nice little complimentary mix of leaves. I love it. All right, let's put these away. Now, oh look at this. This is so cool. Now we've got our giraffes up front. We've got our elephants. In the morning, I'm definitely going to be hopefully working more on bringing in some new things for our elephants because we need to think about their food, we need to think about the quality of their food, and we need to think about their uh, wonderful trees that they need. So we're gonna get those started as well as making more water spots for them. Ooh, and maybe a nice shelter, yes! We could build a really pretty like rock arch that could provide some shelter for all of our tall animals, and we could have a little waterfall kind Coming down off it. I love that idea. We also need to name our elephants and keep track of them. 
so that they are safe and sound and happy. Oh, hello, little guys. And I wonder if they're actually even going to get to the point where they might start leaving behind gigantic piles of poo. Uh, that might be a thing. That might be a thing that we need to work with. We'll have to see. <sighs> ah, but all right, time to get some more rest and time to start thinking about how to take care of Sunflower, how to take care of Lily and Tate. And I wonder what the heck that giant maggot was. I'm kind of curious about what it might be able to grow into. But all right, guys, we have released the elephants. Stage one, step one of many hundreds of adventures in Zudesia Zoo, check. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful Ellie's. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.